You might be wondering why you'd want to use Google Sheets to web scrape. Well, here I've got a giant table of apple species, and by the time this sentence is over, I'm going to web scrape the entire thing from scratch using Google Sheets with just one line of code. Web scraping from Google Sheets isn't always the best solution because it requires some level of messing around, but it can be a really fast solution given the right circumstances. So my goal for this video is to give you a broad overview of how web scraping with Sheets works. There are four main commands, import HTML, import data, import feed, and import XML. We're going to cover the first three in this video, but we'll cover import XML in a future video because it's kind of tricky to work with. So let's get started. So the first command we're going to cover is import HTML, which allows you to scrape both tables and lists. So I've got some data here from this Wikipedia page. Uh, list of earthquakes, and it has a few different tables on the page, but the one I want are the largest earthquakes by country or territory. So the first thing I need to do is figure out which table index this is on the page. Because there are a lot of different tables here, I need to figure out which one this is. So I've got some code for you in the description that you're going to go ahead and copy. Once you're on the page, you can right click, go to inspect, open up this console window, and paste this line of code. And essentially, it'll pull out all the different tables on the page, and as you hover over them, it'll start highlighting different tables that are actually on your web page. Like I mentioned, I want to grab this table of the largest earthquakes. So once I pasted that line of code, I'm going to go ahead and hover over these different table rows until I get the one that I want to be highlighted. And we see here that the index number on the left is 3. So we just have to remember that number. But now we can go ahead and open up a new Google Sheet. So I'm going to type sheets.new, which will quickly bring me a new untitled spreadsheet. This is a little tip. You can also do docs.new or slides.new to open up a new Google Doc or new slide. But anyway, now I can call that import HTML command. And it's going to take in three arguments. So the first is the URL of the website. So I'll grab that. Next is either a table or list, depending on what you're trying to scrape. So here I'm scraping a table. And then last is that index number. We figured out that it was index three that highlighted the table we want, so we'll put 3 right in here. Once you hit enter, it should take a few seconds to load your data, but it'll suddenly all appear inside of your spreadsheet. Now we could be done at this point and just download it as a CSV, put it in our Python and do whatever text cleaning and analysis we need to do. But what's great about Google Sheets is it does have a lot of functionality for doing text cleaning and data cleaning. So right now our magnitude and date columns look kind of messy. So what we're going to do is before we start modifying them is hit command A to grab all of our text. We're going to command C to copy it and then do command shift V to paste just the text value. We're first going to go to our date column, which you can see is kind of messed up right now, and format it as a date, which should fix a lot of that. For this magnitude column, right now the numbers aren't super clean. We've got some text down here, some dashes. What we're going to do is create a new column on the right. We're actually going to format this to text first, just plain text. We're going to call this magnitude.cleaned. We're going to use our regex extract function to first select this column. And we just want to grab a number that might have a period and then another number right after it. We can double click on this and you can see it populates our column with the magnitudes. And we could continue to clean this up or do more analysis, but I think you get the picture. So import HTML doesn't just work on tables, it also works on lists. Although I will say it's a little less useful. So here I've got a recipe for some noodles and let's just say I want to grab the ingredients and the directions into my Google Sheet. Well, I'm going to follow a similar process. I'm going to start by grabbing that code from before, except I'm going to change the table to be UL comma OL, which stands for unordered list or ordered list. Here we have an unordered list. These are just bullet points. And down here we have an ordered list. But again, this will be in the description. So I'll go ahead, right click and inspect, go to the console window and paste this line of code. And like I said, I want to grab the ingredients and the steps to make it. So I'll hover over these different rows to figure out ingredients. We see that's number 14. And then if I scroll down, steps to make it is 15. So I'll go back over to our spreadsheet and we'll call the import HTML command again. We'll pass in the URL as our first argument. Now we pass in list as a second argument. And again, we pass in our index. So we'll start with 14 to get the ingredients. So we've got our ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and expand the column and I'll copy this, paste it here, but now replace it with 15 to get our directions. So I guess this could be practical if you had a lot of different recipe URLs that all follow the same standard procedure, but that's honestly pretty unlikely. So you can see how this would be a little less useful since you have to manually figure out the index. Now, ideally you would use one of these ID tags to figure out what are the ingredients or what's the main recipe. And you can actually do that with the import XML command, which I'll touch on in a later video. But for for the time being, if you're looking for a more robust method, I'd recommend checking out my tutorial series on web scraping with R, where I cover a few
few different examples. So now we're going to move on to the next command, which is import data. And that allows you to scrape CSV or TSV files directly into your spreadsheet. So I've got this CSV file from GitHub that I found. I'm going to go ahead and go to the raw, just so we have the actual CSV file. And I'll copy this link, go back to our Google Sheets, and then write this line of code, import data, and paste our link. So when I hit enter, it'll take some time because this is a longer CSV file, but eventually it'll populate my whole sheet with all the data. And I mentioned earlier how Google Sheets is great because you can do a bit of text cleaning or data cleaning. Well, it can also make some charts really easily. So here I had some population data, and if I wanted to visualize what this looks like over time, I can make a new chart. I'll set the x-axis to year, aggregate the data, make it a line chart. And just like that, we have our population over time. So pretty easy to do. And then the last command we're going to look at from Google Sheets is import feed, which can scrape an RSS or Atom feed directly into your spreadsheet. So here I've got the NASA RSS feed. They have one for breaking news. So I'll go ahead and open this up. I can copy this link, go back to Google Sheets and write import feed, paste our feed in. And again, it'll take a few seconds to load, but eventually the feed will populate into our spreadsheet and we'll be able to see all of our data here. Now, again, I don't know how useful or practical these commands would be for you personally, but I think it's worth knowing that the functionality exists. And I think that there are certainly some scenarios if you have the right type of data where Google Sheets can really be helpful. So again, I'm going to cover that last import XML command in another video because it can be pretty powerful, although it is pretty confusing to use. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.